how realistic is it really to not think well and expect a good outcome for our lives? I was just thinking about that. It's unrealistic, realistically speaking, to expect a good outcome without focusing on thinking well. And you guess it, yeah, today I'm talking about realistic thinking. So I was thinking about in 2022, I went through a difficult time. It was straight up traumatic. No, I'm not going to tell my business here on the internet. It was at that time when I recognized that I needed a burden bearer. Okay, back then I didn't know it was a burden bearer. There was anything called a burden bearer. But now that I'm informed, I can share with you that there are four types of destiny helpers. And one of them is a burden bearer. The other is a divine connector. Another one is a gifted helper. And the other one is an influencer. But today, my focus is the burden bearer. Bearer. So when I moved to Staten Island about 18 years ago, I had met this woman in church and quite frankly, I thought this is not my kind of person. You know, you come to the ministry and they're trying to get you to be acclimated so they kind of recommend that you get to know different people. Well, this particular woman, I just felt like she's younger than me, but that's not the reason. I just feel like we weren't the same flavor. You know, I was tripping on myself, hiding my own supply. Am I the only one that's ever felt like this? I don't think so. So in full transparency, yeah, I was arty arrogant. But in 2022, this same young woman became my burden bearer. See, I don't know who needs to hear this, but sometimes we may be glossing over people that we don't think is our kind of people. They don't run in our circles. They don't have our background or whatever your issue is, your hang up. You've glossed them over. Take it from me. Humble yourself because you just never know who your destiny helper may be and who's God going to send to help you. With that being said, in 2022, I'm an anxiety warrior, as you know. And sometimes when that season comes, it gets so dark, pitch black, midnight, that I often need somebody to pull me out. Can anybody relate to that? Okay, maybe you can't. Maybe you can. The issue is... It may not be anxiety for you or some kind of emotional struggle, but a day is going to come when we all need a burden bearer. My prayer for you is that you become a burden bearer to someone and then I'm sure one day someone will be a burden bearer to you. The problem arises when we expect someone to be a burden bearer to us, but we never think that we need to be one to somebody else. And like I said, it's not a matter of if this season is going to come, it's when. See, even Jesus needed a burden bearer. Remember when he was carrying the cross? He was so battered and bruised, wrecked, weary. He fell down and the man from Cyrene picked up the cross and helped him carry it. Do you remember? Jesus needed a burden bearer. Do you remember Ruth and Naomi? Naomi lost her husband and two sons. Talk about grief stricken. Talk about feeling empty and lost. Imagine how she felt when she woke up in the morning and son and husband were all by herself. Imagine what that feels like. See, I can think about it because I have a husband and two children. I can't imagine the trauma that must have been like. But Ruth, even though she had gone through her own grief of losing her husband, she became a burden bearer to Naomi. And she said, Your God will be my God. And your people, my people. And where you go, I will go. Don't tell me to leave you, she said burden bearer. And this woman in church that I'm telling you about, that's why she became for me in 2022. I texted her. Well, I just need to talk. She drove up from where she lived, which is not very close to where I live. I'm serious mileage, by the way. And she came and she talked. We went, we walked to the park. She just listened and listened. Then she shared her own story. And I talked and she listened some more and I cried. And then she said, you know, celebrate your fight because you are fighting. It may not look like you have it all figured out or you're handling it well, but you are fighting. And that's something to be celebrated. Burton bearer, we need one. Just like Ruth and Naomi, the reciprocity that came out of that realization that they needed each other helped Ruth to find a husband and Naomi to not live so miserably. She became a mentor. She found new purpose. A lot of times we are not able to identify our destiny helpers in life because we're not thinking well is often the, the problem. If we are not a burden bearer to somebody, when our time comes, we won't have one there. So I want you to engage realistic thinking for this season, this week, and think about, can I be a burden bearer too? Pray for clarity, get discernment, so you can identify the person. Think about who has been a burden bearer to you or who could be. Thinking well is a skill and the thinking framework requires me to focus in and know me to grow me. And I'm encouraging you to do the same thing. Who are you glossing over right now that you should be nurturing, standing beside? Because maybe I'm sure you're a destiny helper to somebody 
in some capacity. But check out the Burton Beer. Will you Burton Beer too? Go ahead, like and subscribe, share this video, and tell me about your own situation for identifying your Burton Beer. Have a great day. Here at Eve Speaks, all we do all day long is heal, aspire, and grow. Have a great day. All right.